All right, we're in our second trimester. Hope you don't aren't feeling as sick as you were and not having as much nausea and vomiting. That should be starting to go away if it hasn't. It should get better. Some people do have it throughout their entire pregnancy, but hopefully you're not gonna be one of those and it gets better. You will notice your blood sugars are starting to creep up now even more. You've noticed you've put on a little weight. That is causing you to be more insulin resistant. Your body is also making more progesterone at this time, so you're becoming more insulin resistant as well. Your blood sugars are gonna to start to climb. This is where we have to be more careful with your insulin dosing. It's gonna be very important that you are logging your food and keeping within those 30 grams of carbs and fats are gonna cause more of a delayed high glucose. During this period of time, some people also experience high blood pressure. So if you should start to have some high blood pressure issues, I'm gonna refer you back to your obstetrician because type one pregnancies, sometimes we do get preeclampsia, so that needs to be monitored very closely by the OB doctor. It's not something that is going to cause a problem for the baby in the end, but you might have to deliver a few weeks earlier than you normally would. So we also need you to make sure that you are exercising and walking. Your exercise will help you to be able to use your insulin a little better and to utilize your muscles will use your sugar more. So your sugars will stay a little more stable if you can exercise not talking about starting to do an extensive, intensive exercise program, but if you could just walk 60 minutes every day, that'll definitely help your blood sugars. Your obstetrician will ask you to do a fetal echo, and what they're looking at are the chambers of the baby's heart to make sure the baby's heart is developing at the proper rate. They will also do another ultrasound or possibly two ultrasounds, now they're starting to watch the baby's belly. And that's how they watch to make sure the baby isn't getting too much fat. Sometimes, because we have higher blood sugars, babies can start gaining weight now as they're growing in the second trimester. So they are gonna to wanna to keep an eye on that. If you keep your sugars at 95 or less in the morning and one hour after eating at 140 or less, the baby will grow perfectly at the right rate. So if you're going out to dinner and having a pre-baby shower kind of a dinner and your blood sugars go up to 190, I don't want you to get too stressed if this occurs. As long as it doesn't happen frequently, it's not gonna harm the baby. As you reach the end of the second trimester, your baby now has grown from a line to about two pounds. So you should be feeling movement in there, little butterflies, and that's the movement of the baby. The OB will monitor the baby's heart rate, so every time you go in, you should be able to hear the baby's heart rate. You will see your blood sugars now toward the end of the second trimester are becoming much higher. Your insulin dosing has probably gone up considerably. You may be taking one and a half times the amount of insulin that you took prior to getting pregnant. So don't be alarmed by that. And that can cause a little more extra weight, but that's normal. Baby's fine.